My name is Aaron Mayat. I'm from England, but I work at Mind Valley based in Malaysia. Cool. What do you actually do in Mind Valley? So I have a pretty multifaceted role. I, by tr from the majority of my career, I was a Python developer, working cool. in uh, Django, the Django stack mostly. Uh, but these days, I work mostly on Ruby and um, and Elixir. Mm -hmm. So building out a, a webinar and revenue gener primary revenue generating platform for for the company. Cool. Um, but I've also been responsible for like building out the um, the, the BI ETL pipelines. And that was all in Python. Cool. So it's. It's multiple language for multiple things, isn't it? Yes. Very interesting. So, hmm. so since you have worked with multiple language before, what's the difference from the experience in Django versus Ruby on Rails? So, Django I found was more well. It's all down to the Python philosophy, right? Because yep. Python is is all about being explicit, and Django emphasizes that. Where where Rails does not. Okay. You know, okay. Rails is more in line with the Ruby philosophy, which is you know, which is more lenient when it comes to hiding things from the user, right? Uh, so so Rails will auto inject a lot of magic for you, which which is is a very um, you, you know is, is sort of painful if you've come from another framework. But as soon as you get over the convention, then it, then it's okay. Um, but but Django, I think, is is a more intuitive, right, and approachable framework. Okay. So, okay, so I'm not going to say which is better because most, no, no, no. It's, it's different. <laughs> yes. It is different. So, um, so let's move to some other topic. Mm. So what bring you here for PyCon? So this year, my, my participation is mostly for recruitment. Yep. So this is the first time Mind Valley has a presence uh, at PyCon. Yep. Um, and this is mostly to address, you know, the difficulties yep. that most companies are facing right now when it comes to finding really experienced developers. Right? Okay. So this is our effort to, to engage with them directly. Cool. That's very nice. So I hope you can find your develop developers. Mm. They'll be at this. Uh, funny, they actually have fun down here today. Yeah, and uh, the, the, this, I think the Python community is, is the most interesting actually because okay. they it's the most diverse. You know, you got a lot of on the student side and a lot on the business side, okay. right? And and they they dabble in so many different areas. So so the average Python developer is is, is comes with a more interesting perspective okay. rather than if you meet a Ruby developer, you know they're a Rails developer, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. So okay, thank you for interviewing me. Uh, this is Swimming from PyCon. I hope. You can hear me from here. <laughs>